We use a category-based system, which means that you can organize your content into content categories. If this is your first time logging in, please make sure to go through the onboarding wizard first to get familiar with our features. There, you'll also have the opportunity to generate preset categories for your account. The preset categories you will be able to choose from are blogs from RSS, curated, curated news, our blog posts, promotional, or quotes, questions, and fun. These are meant to give you a head start when it comes to your content mix. If you decide to use them, you'll also be able to generate a preset schedule that's based on best practices for each platform. See how you can do that in our scheduling video. You will notice there are two types of categories in your account, evergreen and share once. Use evergreen categories for content that's not time sensitive and you want to share multiple times, like when you're promoting your products or services. On the other hand, use share once categories when you need to post something that's time sensitive. For example, you don't want to share a news article three months after it happened. You can also create your own categories as you see fit. To do so, click on the Create Category button at the top right corner of your page. You'll be able to name your category, add a description, choose whether the category is evergreen or share once, or select a different color label for it. You'll also be able to choose whether your category can be used as a random category or not. And if needed, you can also use advanced settings to switch up the order of posting in your category, add a short link or UTM parameters. Once you're happy with your settings, click on create to actually create your category. You can control which categories are publishing content and which are paused by the toggle on each category. Use the bulk editor to edit multiple posts at the same time. Using this feature, you'll be able to set all of your posts to approved or not approved, delete multiple posts, or even adjust the profiles they're assigned on. Keep in mind that depending on the volume of posts you're editing, it might take a few minutes to take effect. To get notified when an edit is successful, go to your settings and enable email notifications. Think of your categories as cues for your different types of content. You can schedule them and the posts that are queued inside will get published in a top to bottom order. And if a category is evergreen, once we get to the bottom of the queue, we jump back up to the top. By default, you can publish in a last in first out order, meaning that the newest posts from that category will be published first. You can change this to a first in first out order by editing your category from the advanced settings. This is only available if you have the switch item in category posting advanced feature enabled. If you don't, to enable it, go to your main menu and go to the workspace settings where you can actually enable this feature. You'll also see another category related feature there called Next in Category Sequence. When enabled, this feature allows you to create a sequence of categories to use in the same posting time in your scheduling. So if you want to share a different category at the same time within a month, you can create a sequence of four or five categories to schedule to the same time slot. Once you've created and set up all of your categories, go ahead and add content into each of them and then add them to your schedule. If you have any issues with categories or any other Social Bee feature, feel free to email us at hello at socialbee.io.